reportedly launched dozens of cruise missiles at a Syrian government target. That is according to U.S. networks, including CNN and NBC, citing Pentagon officials. So far, RT has not been able to officially independently verify this information. At least 50 Tomahawk missiles were apparently fired at an airbase near Holmes, according to the unnamed officials. Now, the reports say the missiles were fired from two U.S. warships in the Mediterranean and that no people were targeted, but aircraft and infrastructure at the site were hit. This comes after the U.S. government accuses the Syrian president, Bashar al-Assad, of carrying out a deadly chemical a attack in the Idlib province on Tuesday. Uh, to get more on this, we can now cross live to get details from Caleb Maupin. Caleb, uh, what are we hearing there from the United States side of this? Well, as of now, the reports are indicating that 50 missiles have been unleashed and that it was a Syrian airfield that was targeted. Now, this would be the first uh, direct strike by the U.S. government on the Syrian government. Um, now, there have been previous strikes, uh, previous times that the Syrian military has been hit, but these have been, you know, they've said that they have been accidental. This would be the first you know, direct attack on the Syrian government from the United States. Um, now, at the moment, we still haven't heard from the White House or directly from the Pentagon about what has happened. Now, we have heard from U.S. networks that 50 missiles were unleashed. Now, comparisons are being made. Now, when shock and awe was unleashed on Iraq, uh, that began with 500 missiles that were unleashed on Iraq. So it's unclear exactly what the numbers are indicating. Um, Donald Trump did indicate that he intended some kind of response uh, to the Syrian government. He didn't say what he was going to do. Um, and it's unclear if this is simply uh, a meant to, to punish the Syrian government for the allegations of chemical weapons, or if this is the beginning of, a, of a, an attempt to topple the Syrian government, if this is a, a, an invasion or a direct attack on the Syrian government, or if this is just the beginning of, of some kind of uh, retaliation um, in response to the alleged chemical attack. It's unclear what's going on, and we do not have statements from U.S. officials. We simply have these reports about an airfield in Syria being hit. All right, RT's Caleb Maupin there for us in New York. We know that as this story develops, you'll be staying across the situation from the American side. Uh, 